Maybe construct a shield team. I mean, that was a solid team. It was just... They were essentially, it was like a whole bunch of level one characters versus a boss. Be properly attired for the apocalypse. I do it every time you can. Oh, gotcha. Variety. Superfluous for some. A necessity for others. Mm-mm-mm-mm. The road calls once more to its dark passenger. Thinking. I didn't know that the clapper claws buffed over time. I, I would have adjusted my strategy a bit had I known that. I, I don't know if I could have won the fight. Like, stress was climbing fast, hit point bars were draining. Um, I don't know if I could have won the fight, but... I haven't played this game since it's released, might have to pick it up again. It is a fun game. That was the biggest RNG cluster muck I've ever experienced. <sighs> if we look at the original challenge I was trying to do, the only region I've not beat on Stygian is Act 5. That's the only one I haven't beaten. So even though we just failed the Grand Slam because of the biggest case of BS I've ever seen, if we beat Chapter 5, we will beat, we'll have beaten the whole game on uh, Stygian. Cast your coward Time to aside. become a RuneScape tuber. Right I, I tried old school right. RuneScape once. I did like a one hour sponsored a thing for them once. Uh, I just I couldn't get into it beyond that. Newborn horrors. Spawn of the crown. Imprinted with your insatiable reaching hunger. The crossroads. Who will step forward into the light? All right. There was a reason. There was like one. I like the runaway, but she had a serious bonus to having her for Chapter Five. Chapter Five. There is a part on the final fight where people have to fight like a clone. Like the man at arms has to one on one versus a clone. But the man at arms, you know, if he's attacking the clone, he's not putting up blocks, and the whole team starts to fall apart. Same with the Vestal. If she's attacking, she's not healing. Uh, the DPS, they melt their clones. They're fine. Uh, but there's one exception to that. Because, uh, you know, other people can't help you fight your clone. Controlled burn. Controlled burn attacks the ground, not the enemy. So you could put that under an enemy clone that, like, the man at arms is fighting and kill it for him. Uh, so she's really good for that. She's also quite good at pretty much every one of the final bosses except the lungs. Um, and she happens to be my favorite, too. The main reason I usually take the Highwayman is he just has really good synergy. Like, he fills in the things that she's missing. And then the Vestal and the Man-at-Arms uh, are really nice also. Um, they're just really good sustain. The Plague Doctor. Where's the Plague Doctor? Uh, I could consider putting the Plague Doctor there, but then I lose that huge, nice thing that I mentioned a minute ago. Oh, we got some new weapon kits for the Plague Doctor, for her. Oh gosh, look at that thing. Not now. Not now. Go. Not now. I'm not... Okay. He came to tell me he ate lunch. Um, one thing that makes me nervous taking the Plague Doctor is minus 20% health to get the same piercing that the uh, Arsonist had. It would allow us an easier time at killing certain bosses. Like the one in the Tangle, for example, would be more possible with this.
Is it Nog Doctor time? Dude, I don't know. The general, yeah, the general. The general is more possible with this than with the runaway. <sighs> I'm so broken. Oh my god, I'm so just absolutely broken by that thing. Because it could happen again. Ah! Tiffer, devout, deadly, occultophobic. I think it feels like sensitive, devout, fisher folk fearing. Fisher folk fearing. And the plague doctor and the runaway. Bo uh, the plague doctor doesn't have a movement skill either. Whereas the runaway does have movement skills. Okay, hang on. I honestly felt like we were past the worst parts, and then I got forced into that fight. It wasn't even a chapter boss. Uh, stand fast, on the line, retribution. Change that for Rampart. Uh, Highwayman. Again, last few months I've been bored. Your suit, you recommend a good free MMORPG. You don't want to give Blizzard money again. Good free? Uh, does ESO or FF... So most people that I know that don't play Guild... That came to Guild Wars 2 or left Guild Wars 2, FF14 or Elder Scrolls Online was involved. I don't know if either of those are on your radar. Have you ever tried Physician? Yeah, I tried it in one run. So, Blight Attacks, Battlefield Medicine, Indiscriminate Science, Magnesium Rain, uh, Physical Attacks, Alchemist, Wanderer, Bulwark, Confessor, Sanctuary, let's see. Man, I actually like the default one the most. Uh, whoa, what is that? That's the surgeon one. So this would lack the big advantage that I was going for the whole time with the controlled burn thing. But also, honestly, this wouldn't be... Mm. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking of chapter bosses right now. Chapter 1, this would be fine. Chapter 3, this would be fine. Chapter 4, this would be fine. Chapter 5... Chapter 2 and 5 be a little dicey with this. So we're, this is a chapter five right now. 
if we can beat Chapter 5 with this team, then I would not be super worried about beating you the others. Like, a lot of people find Chapter 3 the hardest one, but with, uh, I've found a a way of doing it with Vestal and the uh, Man-at-Arms that I'm pretty confident in. And I've beaten it with no deaths the last two times I've done it. Uh, but this team, I'm more concerned about Chapter 2 and 5. You see? New Siege and Grand Slam? I'm not sure, Maestro. I got hit by the most BS thing. <laughs> I'm not sure. Alchemist in 2 and 5 is pretty good at boss DPS. Uh, and we get a oh, great, great, great job, Alchemist. So resist on the first attack. <laughs> We're off to a good start. We're off to a, a really good start. That'll die from blood. What is this? A righteous action. I think, um, I think the highwayman had a plus fifteen percent to crit. Yeah, he did. That's gonna be pretty good. Mm. Are you shaken? There it's funny because I've told so many people this game. Forward. I was like, yeah, there's a lot of RNG and stuff, but there's a lot of things you could do to tilt it in your favor, like friendship stuff like that. So you're just trying to stack as many of those advantages as you can, and then that just happened. And I'm just like, there's nothing you can do about that. There's absolutely nothing you can do about leave first town, have no scouting, pick a direction, immediately get Shambler, get wiped. There's nothing you can do about that. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. <sighs> what Rado got? Fotor or Sprawl? In Everywhere. In need. Chance of that is really low. Still a chance at any moment of like your whole run just getting flipped over. Spend what you can. All right, Sigeon Blaze. No longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Tick. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Got de stress. Mm. <laughs> Grenade. Any negative quarks? Light sensitive, Fisher foe, Tipper, Cultivic. Uh... A bit of comfort. Grab those for later. On the road to damnation. Uh... Fotor or Sprawl? Probably the mastery point. Avoid the watchtower for a mastery point. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. We'll see. 
the tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. <sighs> no relations, that's fine. I'd rather there be none than any negative ones. Rancid crop grows unchecked, and the immediate hoarder. We've only got fifty-five. Check it out. tempting my favorite trinket in the game but I don't have enough money for it that's also incredibly good wow there's a couple of really nice things there that I cannot afford why didn't you buy trinket organizer at first in a, what trinket organizer I uh, don't know what that is. Stew pots. Tempting to get the songbook. Stage coach item increases chance of looting trinkets. Oh, I mean, I, I'm happy with the stew pot. That's fine. back in front. That'll die to blight. He's immobile. Rabies! Awesome! We start a new run and get disease in the first fight. Fantastic! Holy crap! <laughs> Is four or five meant four per turn for five turns? So, like, this says two for three turns. Not always, because, like, if you do three for three turns, and then the next turn you do three for three turns, it's going to say six for four. But then it'll be, like, six, and next turn it'll say six, and then next turn it'll say three, because, like, the older burn falls off. But So that's essentially the damage it'll take on the next burn, like, the next tick. But then the number of turns it's going to burn in total. Like, each, each one has its own duration, which is usually three on a non-crit, five on a crit. You just got out of the hospital already? Yeah, but it's just... We're having some serious RNG, you know? It's like rolling might stacks. Yeah. Same system. Would you make guides on this game? Mm. Don't really know that they're needed. There's a lot of uh, content creators for Darkest Dungeon 2 already out there. 
In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Consider all variables, but do it quickly. I could go to the hospital and cure the rabies. I don't have much money. Mm, I like your content that I wouldn't hurt to ask. No, it definitely doesn't hurt to ask. Um, I just... I'm trying to think, if I were to do guys, like, you know, most things is it'd be like build guys, stuff like that. Like, I could basically share my strategy for how I beat, like, I don't know, the phase three boss or something. Um, beyond that, I'm not sure what I would have to add. I didn't even check her shop. I had a little bit more coin, I should have checked her shop. Oh boy, do I want to attempt to fight the baby right away? I could. You know what? I'm a broken man right now. Let's do it. All in. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not terribly invested in our new rabies team. Let's, uh, we're, we're just gonna high roll here. If success, we'll get a ton of loot and a trophy right at the beginning of this run, which would be massive. If fail, we don't lose much. The landowner's manor. Do you hear the child's cries? That's a pull when so they are successful with it. Alright, she'll die from blight. Yeah, I'm not worried about the time wind shark because uh, my wife's home today, so she's already fed the boy. We just got the blood from the tick. Nice, that was without take aim. Boy can't eat without his papa. <laughs> he's already, he already has. He came in here a few minutes ago to tell me he's not wasting away. <sighs> oh, awesome. Um... I can't do anything. Okay. Awesome. Alright, stand fast. We still need to have him do another duelist advance to fix the lineup. I actually didn't realize the Photor had such high Blight Resist. I thought the Tangle was the area with the high Blight Resist. Obviously not. Look, this guy's 75 Blight Resist.
think she's dead. The smallest variable can make all the difference. low enough for indiscriminate science right now. There's this. The big guy's a chip on his shoulder. Got a few things on his shoulder. Excellent work. Mm, even the critical blight didn't get through. Uh I don't know the resistances of the the, the baby boss. Is Blight not going to work here? On Darkest Dungeon 2 Fotor boss. Because with the um, with the runaway, the, the baby fight is, is easy. Where? It's Blight resist is 60. So he could get it down to... He has 33 piercing. So the baby would have a 27% chance of resisting stuff. Well done. Where'd the runaway go? Did I just make up the rule that you had to do the whole run on the same four? Code Monkey, we had a wipe earlier. Um, I started the next chapter. Got to the first in, and then it's like choose a path, and I chose I chose the sprawl, and I started it, and it was just question marks on the map. I there was no scouting, so I was like, okay, so I just turned right and immediately hit the shambler boss. I was at the beginning of a run. I had no masteries. I had no items, and we 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 died to it. It was it was super stupid. The fact that there was no scouting. And then the fact that that boss was there, and the fact that there was also not a runaway option. All the options were attack. So I got, like, trapped in the fight, and then we died to it. So, uh, even though we had beaten three regions, we lost to that. Nice crit heal. I want to de-stress him, and then I'll try to Wicked Slice. So yeah, I'm really, really bummed out about it. 25 inventory slot trophy, awesome. Ghastly Gruel, incredible trinket. Gain when hit regen sometimes, also incredible trinket. Food barrels, yeah, this is all fantastic. All right. But I'm, I'm trying this boss way too early, for common sense. So we will see if I can beat it. The harvest is here. Pity those with a place at the table. So, the small meat constantly will try to attract the back two people. The big meat will try to attract the front two people. So if we can take out the big meat, then they will stop getting taunted. Dude, even the meat has blight resist. Yuck. Okay, dodge good. So he got hunger, so he's going to just eat meat on the next turn. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. He can't do anything other than eat meat. And if two people have the eat debuff, one of them will scream at the other, like, yeah, you're stealing all the meat. And they'll get very upset about it. Shot the meat. Nice critical blight. So see, it says five turns now. Got 
Okay, no one got the eating thing. Ow! So the baby will constantly scoot forward, and when it gets to the front, it uses that Maw of Life move, which hits the front two slots really hard. Messy. Hmm, I thought that would cure him of the hunger thing, but it didn't. Okay, um... Resist. Great. We don't want to kill both meats, because then he would just sit up front and spam Maws of Life the whole time. What are the yellow bars under their HP? That's how many turns they have left to take in this round. <laughs> awesome. So if I heal either of them, the other is going to have a hissy fit about it. This wound at least has been tended to. The weakness dragged back from the brink. This is no time to dude. I'm still healing from the last malls of life. Could you calm down? I maybe should have passed there, but honestly, this feels just like such a low chance of success right now. I didn't realize this guy was resistant to Blight. <sighs> Where's the piece of me that's orange of love, eh? Chip? He swung through here earlier. He's not in here at the moment. I don't even know who just hated her for the. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. <sighs> God, we barely heard it. Oh, I can't use Battlefield Medicine because you scooted forward. Right. Oh, another resist. Awesome. A small reprieve from this carousel of horrors. Dude, if he kills that, that's gonna. I mean, if this isn't already over, that's gonna make it worse. I just got back as this new Grand Slam attempt. I think this is a wipe.
this wound at least has been tended to. And again, he can't use battlefield medicine because he got pushed forward one slot. I gotta stop giving him repost or he is gonna kill this, which we do not want. Actually, if he go if he gets repost but he's up here, it's fine. But they're both at death's door. Okay. Uh yeah, like I said, that was a big gamble. Um if I had been playing my usual way, I would have just not done the boss. I didn't know the Photor was blight resistant. I thought Photor was bleed resist, Tangle is blight resist, but I think they're reversed of that. I think it's reverse of that. Um, so the Plague Doctor ended up being just god awful. Like, he, the baby resisted the blight attacks like eight times in a row. And then he landed like one at the very end, but it was way too late. Um, that was really unfortunate. So, yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll take a break here. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll chill out a bit, just gonna calm down. Um, not sure what the future will hold. We did successfully beat chapter 1, 2, 3, and 4 with, uh, Stygian. We did beat all of those. And then we lost to the worst case of RNG I've ever seen. For anyone tuning in late, we started the next chapter, got to the very first end, didn't have any items, didn't have any skills mastered beyond what you start with, and it's like, you know, pick a place, I picked a place, and it's like, do you want to go left or right? And you have no scouting, so it was just question marks. So I was like, all right, I'll pick right. And then it's like Shambler, which is like the, one of the toughest bosses in the game. And at the beginning of the run, I had nothing, and there was no option to run away. I was forced to fight it. So the fact that there was no scouting, the fact that it was there at the beginning of the run, and it was in the first region, and there wasn't a runaway, was just like four compounding RNG cluster mucks in a row. So, I'm terrified of that happening again, because that basically just threw like 10 hours out the window. Um, but, in any case, I was really proud that we got through Act 1. We beat three of the five regions before that hit us. Um, I have to think about it, chat. I have to think about it. I might try, I might try it some more off-stream, we'll see. Uh, but I'll let you guys know. But for now, we'll pause it here, and we'll see what the future holds.